وبعبارة أخرى أننا لا يمكن لنا أن نتعامل معاملة حقيقية مع آيات الله إلا بعد تربية النفس وتطهيرها. Or in other words, to rephrase that, it can also be said that it is impossible to interact with the divine words in the proper way that they should be interacted with, except and unless one purifies and refines their own selves. فما لم تكن النفس نورانية لا تدرك نورانية الآيات المباركة. In as far as the soul itself is not luminous, it cannot and won't be able to grasp the luminosity of the divine words. لأن نورانية النفس هي الكاشف عن آيات الله هي المصباح الكاشف عن آيات الله. Because it is the luminosity of the soul which discloses and sheds light upon these signs of Allah for one to recognize and see them. أما مع ظلمانية النفس. ومساوئها فلا يمكن للإنسان أن يكشف الآيات. As for as far as the soul is gloomy and dark, then this this allows a person or uh, doesn't let a person uh, disclose the divine signs. أو بعبارة نقول مع نورانية النفس يهتدي إلى نور الآية. Or it can be said that with the luminosity of the soul, a person is guided towards the divine signs. And the opposite is true that with the gloominess or darkness of the soul, one is not guided towards the divine signs. فالاهتداء إلى نورانية الآية لأهل البصيرة عيون القلب. So being guided, the ability to be guided towards the divine signs. is for those who have inner insight and illumination of the heart. كما أن الإنسان الأعمى لا يهتدي إلى النور خارجا. Just as the person who is physically blind cannot appreciate the physical light at the external light. فلو كان هناك نور خارجي إذا كان هذا الإنسان أعمى البصر لا يستطيع أن يهتدي إلى النور. Even if there was a bright shining beacon outside, the person who is Physically blind cannot guide himself towards that a particular light. كذلك أعمى القلب أعمى البصيرة لا يهتدي إلى نورانية الآية. Same with the one who has a blind heart uh, or does not have insight, they can are unable to guide themselves towards the luminosity of the divine uh, uh, divine signs. فالاهتداء إلى نورانية الآيات ومعرفة حقيقة الآيات المباركة ولو بنسبة ما هذا ينبعث من نورانية القلب. So being guided towards these things or having cognizance of the reality of the verses even if it be to whatever extent uh, requires the luminosity of and uh, insight of the heart. فإذا المسألة عندما نتعامل مع القرآن لا بد من بصيرة ولا بد من نورانية القلب. So therefore the issue is this that when we interact with the Quran it uh, must be done with inner insight and with illumination of the heart. فلا يمكن لنا الاطلاع على الأسرار أسرار الآيات إلا أن تكون عندنا بصيرة ولو بنسبة ما. So it's not possible for us therefore to recognize the secrets and mysteries behind the words except we except if we have insight even if it's uh, to whatever extent even if it's to a little extent wa sahib an nuraniyya kullama qara al ayat al mubaraka kullama izdada riqi wa irtafa'a daraja and the person who has luminosity every time he reads the divine verse or the divine sign He ascends or he goes up another level. أما قراءتنا هذه نحن مع عمي القلب ليس عندنا بصيرة فهي قراءة ظاهرية يطلب منها الإنسان أجر قبال هذه القراءة. But as for us, and due to a lack of insight and lack of luminosity, when we recite the verses in a blind fashion with a blind insight, what we get from these verses is uh, the reward. Uh, and the thawab, the ajr which lies behind it. 
فهذه القراءة الموجودة قراءة ذات أجر. So this recitation which we have with us, this is recitation of reward. يزداد الإنسان فيها مرتبة ودرجة بسيطة جدا. With it, a person ascends uh, very small steps uh, and ascends very small steps. وهذا يعلم من خلال قراءته للقرآن. And this is known uh, via the recitation of the Quran. فالكثير من الناس المسلمين يقرؤون القرآن ويختمون القرآن وبعضهم يحفظ القرآن ولكن هو باقي على وضعه وعلى حاله. This is known by the people that many from amongst the, the Muslims uh, recite the Quran, even finish the Quran, and have even memorized the Quran. And after having done all of this, they continue on the same uh, blind path that they're, that they're positioned on. فحتى ليحفظ القرآن هو يصير نسخة أخرى ولكنه يبقى على حالة. So even the one who has memorized the, the full Quran, he has become as if he's another copy of the Quran, but he's say in the same position that he was. يعني كأنه في الواقع ذلك الحافظ القرآن لا يوجد فرق بين هذا الكتاب الموجود على الرف وبين هذا الرجل أو الإمرأة الحافظ القرآن هذه نسخة وهذه نسخة. So it can be said that a person who is in this position, having memorized the whole Quran, there's no difference between the book, the Quran that lies on the shelf, and this man or woman who may have memorized the Quran. This is a one copy of the Quran, and that's also one copy of the Quran. فهذا يحفظ القرآن ولكن لم يتغير. So this person is, has memorized the Quran, but there's been no inner change. فهذا القرآن موضوع على الرف وهذا القرآن الثاني موضوع على الرف. So this is one copy of the Quran placed on the shelf and this is also another copy of the Quran we have before us. التغيير يمكن أن يكون بسيط وتدريجي بعيد. Any change within that person, it may be some change but could be very uh, small change or uh, minuscule. وهذا بسبب عدم سلامة القلب ورداءة النفس وعمي البصيرة. This is due to a lack of tranquility of the heart and uh, muddiness or murkiness of the soul and blindness of the inner insight. لكن أصحاب البصيرة عندهم نور. But as for those who have insight, they have luminosity and light. وعندهم عيون التي هي عيون القلب بعيون القلب وببصائرهم يقرؤون الآيات. They have eyes, eyes of the heart, spiritual eyes with which they recite the verses of the Quran. ولذلك كلما قرأوا الآية ازدادوا رقي وازدادوا ارتفاع وقرب من الله. So therefore every time they recite they ascend, they go up a level and they get more and more closer to Allah. واكتشفوا أسرار الآية المباركة ببركة نور البصيرة. And they discover the mysteries behind the holy verses with the, the blessing of the light of insight. And when a person, when they realize that the mystery behind the verse is hidden uh, <coughs> in the inner insight, is hidden behind the inner insight, that's when they strive their hardest in order to attain this inner insight by self-purification and self Rectification. لأنه لا تنفتح عين القلب والبصيرة إلا بتربية النفس. Because the inner insight and spiritual sight will not be opened except with self-refinement and self-purification. <تصفيق>